The system of caseworkers had more turnover than they had ever seen. The leaders pointed to the sad and broken cases that these young social workers were working with. The leaders said it must be too much emotional stress, so they would leave. One leader, though, saw something different. He saw how some small, seemingly insignificant changes could impact the entire system. The other leaders were out of ideas, so they let, they let him try. And over the next several years, he helped decrease the turnover, saving the organization hundreds and thousands of dollars every year. He saw the connection between large-scale impact and small little changes. And then he painted the picture of how it could be so, and he brought people of all backgrounds together, and then ultimately led to the biggest impact the organization had ever seen. This is the power of the Clifton Strengths Connectedness Talent at Work. Hi there, welcome to the Isogo TV podcast from isogostrong.com. I am Becky Hammond, and you and I gather here on this podcast to fixate on strength in our families and on our teams. Because when we start from assuming strength, we can make relationships easier. This is episode 101. We're in a series right now about how to make relationships easier with our strengths. Today, we're chatting all about one of the 34 Clifton strengths, the connectedness strength. You know, it, it's so easy, I've found, to, to see the negative and focus in on that in ourselves and in others too. But really, you can impact relationships by emphasizing the positive, the strengths that you already have. Yet, sometimes, as you probably know, since I definitely know this, the line between what you use as a strength and what can negatively affect your relationships is really a thin one. It can be hard to navigate. This connectedness strength is a close one to my own heart. I did not always love it. In fact, I thought it was a little woo-woo when it first showed up in my top five Clifton strengths. But now I not only appreciate it, but see it as the foundation to everything I do and everything I am. So this is a personal one. I promise not to ramble on too much. Well, hopefully. <laughs> so let's continue to take a look at what making relationships easier looks like through the lens of connectedness. Your connectedness strength gives you an intuitive sense of purpose and meaning. You likely can easily see how this present moment in time, no matter how seemingly insignificant, fits into the context of the past and the expectations of the future. You may also have a drive to connect with others, knowing that no human story stands alone. I have a friend and a colleague who once told me that she links connectedness with a soft, and slightly raspy spa voice. It cracked me up because that's not me at all. But yes, true, there are a bunch of us connectedness folks who really want you to recycle and redon your reusable grocery bags and forgo produce bags. But as I have personally been learning, connectedness goes way beyond the planet too. In your team, you can offer a perspective that others don't instantly see because you see all the small moving parts and how they impact each other, which can, can provide stability and hope and builds trust in you as a leader. In your family, as you use connectedness well, you are a deep breath to them. You can help them celebrate when things are going well and create perspective when they're not because you see how your current day fits in with the past and the future. Other leaders and parents I've coached that have connectedness have discovered that because this talent is so intuitive, they tend to underappreciate and underuse it. And as is true of every strength, the volume that you choose for connectedness in any situation will help you get to that point of using those strengths to make relationships easier. When the volume is turned way down low, the people around you are not getting the perspective and benefit from seeing the why behind what you do. This could be as profound as why you pursue a certain career or hold a certain viewpoint or as simple as how you came up with a strategy or just sure will work to turn things around like the leader of social workers in our opening story. When you keep the volume low, your ideas and perspectives, they, they just kind of tend to get missed or misconstrued. And it can leave people wondering, like scratching their heads and, <laughs> and leave you feeling misunderstood or, or definitely not as impactful as you could be. 
So here are a couple of ideas of ways to craft your environment to, to feed your connectedness talent while still building strong, easier relationships. So first, let the inner workings of your thoughts out into the open. Because connectedness is so intuitive to you, it may be zooming all around in your head, but no one can see inside your head or, or like the bottom of an iceberg. It's a wealth of contribution that's just sitting below the surface. So challenge yourself to say out loud a connection that you're naturally seeing. Do it at home at first with people that you love and who love you, and then move on to your team or to your group of extended friends and just kind of see what happens. Because what you see as obvious, many other people will see as profound. They never would have thought of that. And that will help them understand and appreciate you more along the way as well. So that's an additional benefit. Uh, and then second, it's about reframing your mindset of connectedness. And now this is true of every strength. Much of using our strengths to make relationships easier is about our mindset. And then followed by the discipline or the commitment to follow that mindset with action. The most productive and meaningful strengths mindset is one that knows and dials in our own strengths while accepting and appreciating the strengths of the people that are around us. So for this connectedness strength, and the mindset that you're setting, the strengths mindset, look for talent in the people around you and then connect those individual talents to that something bigger that you're a part of together. Help them see that it is something more beautiful or more successful than any one of us could be on our own. That strengths mindset and sharing of your perspective has the power to change the dynamics of your team or of your family. And it gives them hope and confidence for what lies ahead. So there we have it. A bit about how you can use your connectedness strength to make relationships easier around you, in your family or on your team. If you operate from the connectedness strength or you know someone who does, I'd love to know how this episode sits with you. You know, you are the one who is living and breathing this strength, along with me, of course. So how does it work well in your relationships and where do you still work on it to fine tune it, to make sure people can hear it? So head over to Instagram and tag or direct message me at Isogo Strong with what your thoughts on what connectedness looks like in your relationships at home or at work. And that is spelled I-S-O-G-O Strong over on Instagram. And if you're curious about impacting the relationships around you by fixating on strength, your own strength, the strengths of other people, I'd love to help give you a jump start as your virtual coach. It's super easy to start, and since you listened today, I'd love to get you $5 off the Strength Startup Virtual Coach Kickstarter. If you go over to isogostrong.com slash strengthsstartup, you can check it out. Use the code virtualcoach5 for $5 off. That's virtualcoach5 for $5 off. I'd be honored to get a chance to get to know you, the people around you, and help you to use your strengths because your strengths have the power to make that ripple effect in your family, on your team, and ultimately across the entire world. You can make relationships easier as you fixate on strength in your family and on your team. So dial them in, take ownership for your mindset, and make those relationships easier. Until next time on Isogo TV.